It was his gift, and he was the best. What I'm saying is just assume that this guy can hear and see everything that you're doing. He's a born tactician. Every move that he makes, it means something. That's a pawn being moved off the board. And if I were you, I'd be looking for the next piece. No, you can't stop him. What's up, people, and welcome to another episode of Supreme Decisions. And yeah, tonight I want to get into something real quick, and it's not going to be quick, but it's going to dis it's going to get into Brady disclosure. And yes, it comes from Brady v. Maryland, and it's a 1963 case. And basically, it's the prosecutor must disclose evidence or information that will provide the innocence or prove the innocence of the defendant or would enable the defense to more effectively impeach the credibility of the government's witnesses. Now, this is one of the things that actually goes in with a criminal case because as the accuser, they must disclose or turn over all relevant information and they don't have the option to pick and choose. Now, one of the things that I love about this is the fact that I talk about how the police do not turn over a lot of evidence. I also talked about how on a traffic citation, because they have officer discretion, they use an amicus brief in order to come in as an expert to testify to something that is not a crime in a criminal case when it involves a traffic citation because there is no complaining witness there is no injured party and i also discussed in my podcast on how to ask better questions in order for them to prove what they're saying on the stand and how to impeach that statement now the reason why this is one of the most actually one of the most overlooked as well as the worst applied thing when it's done by pro se litigants is because one they don't know when to ask for it they don't know the steps or procedures that a prosecutor has to have in order to get it and then they don't understand the context of what it is they're asking for so when you're doing a motion for discovery this is where brady v maryland comes into play because you're asking for things that pertain to the accusation that you are accused of so this is where you're telling them, hey, where's your evidence? These are the things which I talked about in a video and audio, the citation, the officer's statements, any witnesses that they have. These are the things that you're going to ask for. Now, in doing that, understanding the pressure the prosecution is under because the prosecution is also obligated for things the police do not turn over. Now, I'm going to get into that a little deeper later because this is also one of the motions that I talked about turning in with your motion for discovery. And just for hint, right here. But today we're going to talk Brady motion. The prosecution must disclose an agreement not to prosecute a witness in exchange for the testimony. This is when you often see on TV or in some other instance that you have someone that quote unquote turns state evidence. And basically they gotta turn that over to you anyway because you have to be able to prepare your defense. The prosecutor must disclose any leniency or preferential treatment agreements made with witnesses as changed for their testimony. This is something that came up in my trial where a lot of people took probation or reduced sentences to testify against myself and both of my brothers that were on trial at the time. So those are things that had to be disclosed. They were placed onto the witness list. Um, there were other things that were not turned over, such as the search warrants or the actual arrest warrants, because they were not signed by judges 
and they also lied to get them because even the search warrant and the warrant application for arrest was not made available. Yeah, I bet you didn't know that. But then the prosecutor must disclose exculpatory evidence known only to police. Now, just like I said, we know that police don't always turn over evidence because 76% of all video does not come from police. Although all of them say they have the body cams rolling, all of them say they have their car cams rolling, their dash cams, but we never get to see that footage unless it's one to exonerate them or it's leaked somehow from somewhere else. But the prosecution is responsible for that as well because if they don't turn it over, it is a Brady violation. And that's going to be another video where I'm going to talk about something called a Vaughn motion or a motion to compel and then the steps what happens after that and even when you're going into your next trial it's understanding that if it has not been turned over that is a reason for continuance because you are not able to properly prepare your defense against what is being said before you because the prosecution has not turned over all evidence that is against you now the prosecution must disclose arrest photographs of the defendants when those photographs do not match the victim's description this is one that i talked about when we were dealing with lineups because those are where your weight hearings come in at because a lot of times and for lack of a better term cross race descriptions are often wrong I'm going to say that again. Cross race descriptions are often wrong because unfortunately to most people that don't look like me, I look like everybody else that did that looks like me. Not any offense to them, not any offense to you. It's just how we're made. Now, when we're also talking about going in through it, it's understanding when you're filing your motion for discovery or your motion for disclosure, or your Brady motions. These are the things that are codified just like the Freedom of Information Act because the requirement is generally codified as 10 days. Because even in Georgia, it shows that they're supposed to turn it over once you notify them who's your representative. Because whether it's yourself or it's your attorney, they must turn it over within 10 days of that notice, whether you ask for it or not, which is meaning whether you file a motion for disclosure or discovery or not, it must be turned over. And some state systems have expensive, defined Brady material to include many other items, including examples of any documents which may reflect negatively on a witness's credibility. And these are your police arrest records. These are the things that are in their disciplinary forms. Those things also must be turned over when there's a criminal trial because again, you have an option to confront the accusers against you. Why? Because that police officer, if there is any wrongdoing in his or her past, that is documented. And keep in mind, most states, the police unions are having their records expunged within 90 days but one thing that they cannot seal are court records when that police officer has been on trial when that police officer has been in federal court when that police officer has been testifying those things are public record sometimes you have to do a little digging and lastly police officers have been dishonest at sometimes referring to as Brady cops and because of the Brady ruling, prosecutors are required to notify defendants and their attorneys whenever a law enforcement officer involved in their case has sustained record of knowingly lying on official capacity. Basically, we talked about that even in places like Chicago when we talked about the impact of someone such as Eddie T. Johnson as he talked about police culture. We talked about it in Arizona where we've seen the actions of even their chief stating that 
the, the, her officers are innocent because it's the citizens faults so these are the things that we know constantly and we're hearing in baltimore constantly and constantly and constantly and he's talking about the fact that it's somebody else's fault and it's covering up even when you have police officers planting evidence so just keep that in mind brady motion brady disclosures these are the things that are encompassed in that because it is a requirement by the prosecutor so understand these are the things that have to be done within 10 days once you let them know either you are representing your own interests which is like step one of the three things i told you to do and it's also incumbent on filing this so let's keep it moving brady v maryland 1963 case in effect right now Talk to you soon.